Despite being the global leader, the U.S. lacked an important element that powers AI, which in turn will build the future. High-tech chips. Even if it appears that multi-billion dollar American companies like Intel and NVIDIA lead the chip industry, the truth is quite otherwise. They depend on TSMC, the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, and the world's leading chip producer. That's why it pulled in 73.67 billion US dollars in 2022, leaving Intel behind. It became clear that TSMC had chip-making secrets which American chip companies did not. What if those secrets could be known? Well, back in 2020, Trump had the same intentions, and hence, he encouraged TSMC to build a factory in Arizona. When Biden came into office, he promised subsidies to TSMC. Earlier, this factory was scheduled to be established by the end of 2023, giving Biden a political edge for the 2024 election campaign. He's already branding this factory as his victory. But as of the latest news, things are not working out as planned, as the factory has been delayed to 2025, collapsing the entire grand plan. So what's the entire story? How did it all get started? And what hurdles is TMC facing in the US? In this video, we'll explain how the US is struggling to replace China's chip capacity as TSMC's Arizona factory has been delayed. Meanwhile, China is on its way to being self-sufficient in chip making, even attracting US companies. Let's get started. Chapter 1. The Grand Plan Unveiled Let's rewind a bit. Back in May 2020, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC, revealed its ambitious plan to build a cutting-edge semiconductor factory in Arizona in the United States. Initially, TSMC announced to invest over 12 billion US dollars, which later was increased to 40 billion dollars. It was because the US government had promised subsidies. However, TSMC did not know what it would face within the next two years. Yet, it was a victory for the US as TSMC supplies chips to American companies like Apple, AMD, and NVIDIA. By having a TSMC factory within the US, not only the American companies could get chips domestically, but also it was a major push for the US chip industry. When this announcement was made, Donald Trump was the US president, aiming to boost American manufacturing and reduce reliance on Chinese-made products. That's why he imposed high tariffs on Chinese products, making a dent in China's exports to the US. However, for this to succeed, the TSMC factory had to be established. It was a huge gamble, but Trump played it, leaving an inherent policy on China for Biden. But one is forced to ask why TSMC accepted to come to the US. Well, apparently, the reason is expansion. However, there was an underlying geopolitical reason as well. Taiwan knew it could rely on the US to safeguard its autonomy. However, as the US policy of no lunch is free suggests, Taiwan had to pay back for the support. Chapter 2. The Harsh Realities of US Construction Perhaps TSMC did not do its due diligence before announcing its plan to come to the US. If it had, things would not have been as they are today. You see, there is a construction cost disparity between the US and Taiwan, and TSMC has been vocal about it, saying construction in the US is more costly. But how much is more costly? Well, according to a report by the construction consulting firm Ryder Levitt Bucknell, the average construction cost per square meter for an industrial building in the United States was $2,500 in 2020. In contrast, Taiwan's construction costs are notably lower. According to the Ministry of the Interior in Taiwan, the construction cost per square meter for general industrial buildings in Taiwan in 2020 was approximately $1,000 to $1,300. This made things quite easier to understand. Yet, construction costs were not the only problem. Regulatory compliance in the US did indeed add complexity and cost to construction projects. The Environmental Protection Agency in the United States imposes stringent regulations on semiconductor manufacturing facilities to control emissions and protect the environment. 
For example, semiconductor manufacturers are required to install and maintain sophisticated pollution control systems, such as thermal oxidizers and scrubbers, to meet EPA standards, costing tens of millions of dollars to implement and maintain. Foreign Policy also reported that TSMC's expansion plant in Arizona could be doomed due to the regulatory measures the U.S. is imposing. Labor costs became yet another issue, as labor costs in the U.S. are notably higher than in Taiwan. According to data from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the mean annual wage for electrical and electronics engineers, a key role in semiconductor manufacturing in the United States, was approximately $107,000 in May of 2020. In contrast, data from the Taiwan Ministry of Labor indicates that the average annual wage for electrical engineers in Taiwan in 2020 was around $38,000 to $48,000. These things were preparing a concoction for TSMC's factory failure in the future. Now, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Chapter 3. Geopolitical Controversy and Pressures that's when the equation was completely changed, becoming red hot. The escalating tensions between the United States and China, especially in the context of Taiwan's status, injected a multi-dimensional complexity into TSMC's Arizona project. It's because TSMC's semiconductor technology is not only a linchpin of Taiwan's economic strength, but also a vital component of its defense strategy. You see, chips produced by TSMC are even used in the fifth-generation fighter jet the U.S. brags about, the F-35. Now, collaborating with the U.S. meant TSMC was helping the U.S. military with the military-grade chips. China felt hostile here, while the chip war was also initiated, leaving Taiwan and TSMC between the two powers. Doing direct deals in business with Taiwan was a violation of the One China policy, one which accepts Taiwan as a part of China. TSMC's Arizona factory and its plan to get closer to the U.S. became uncertain when the U.S. politicians became vocal about diverging from the One China policy. TSMC felt that perhaps it was being used as a leveraging tool, turning this economic deal into a political controversy. Biden even floated the idea of military interventions to protect Taiwan's sovereignty. Chapter 4. Worksite Woes and Cultural Clashes Despite all this, the factory construction plan stayed intact. However, even if the geopolitical fiasco is ignored, the very environment for the TSMC factory in Arizona is not feasible. For example, reports of accidents and safety problems at the construction site brought attention to working conditions and raised legitimate concerns. However, TSMC denied any fatalities at the construction site, raising suspicions. Yet cultural differences became another problem. Differences in cultural norms, communication styles, and work practice expectations contributed to misunderstandings and tension among the workforce. In Taiwan, workers are accustomed to working long shifts, something the U.S. workers are unaware of. But this allowed TSMC to become the world's leading chip maker. This cultural divide created operational challenges in managing the new facility. Since the U.S. workers are less competent and still demand high wages and fewer working hours, it creates a conflict of interest. Collaboration was increasing costs and construction time instead of reducing them. Chapter 5. The Final Blow – Unskilled American Workers Perhaps TSMC forgot that the U.S. chip industry is not as developed as Taiwan's. Hence, an important consideration of finding highly skilled workers was taken lightly. But when it finally came to test production, the factory could not be inaugurated. TSMC reported that the U.S. was lacking skilled workers without which the factory could not run. However, a solution was presented which created yet another problem. TSMC proposed to bring about 800 skilled Taiwanese engineers to contribute to the Arizona project. But the U.S. trade union protested, as this action undermined and questioned Americans' workforce. This also exposed that the United States does not have skilled workers even if it gets foreign companies to establish factories in the U.S. Due to all these challenges, TSMC officially announced it would delay production until 2025. This proposed time is also uncertain and can be delayed further. 
On the other hand, China is getting closer to self-sufficiency in chip production every day. The chip war, in which the U.S. started to deprive China of chips, is now backfiring. The backup plan the U.S. had, in the form of a TSMC factory in Arizona, has been itself delayed while American chip companies are lobbying to get access to Chinese markets. But what do you think about the U.S. losing the chip war, especially as TSMC's factory moves away? If you like the video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos. If you want to know more about geopolitics, you can check out more videos on our channel.